Good morning, folks. This is Mark with Mark's Mobility. We're doing a review this morning on a Jazzy Air 2 power chair with the 12-inch seat lift. Good morning, folks. This is Mark with Mark's Mobility. We're doing a demonstration this morning on a most popular chair. This is a Jazzy Air 2 power chair. This power chair has the 12-inch seat lift. This power chair has new tires, new motors, new batteries. So it's all been reconditioned because the chair was still in fantastic shape. The motors before had quite a few miles, so we decided, okay, if I want to sell this chair. So it has two new motors, two new batteries, new tires, everything else is fine. So this is a Jazzy Air 2 and the most popular chair out there if you want a seat lift. If you want the seat lift to go up, what you do, you go to your joystick, and there's a picture of a seat, so you push the button. When you see the lights come on, the picture of your seat, you use your, see how the seat goes up really quick. The nice thing about this, you're gonna start at 21 inches. By the time you're all the way up, you'll be at 33. Did you see how fast that went up? And the nice thing about this, look at this, folks. When you're driving this chair, you're still gonna be able to drive this chair at a good speed in your house. Of course, if you're gonna use this chair in your house, you're gonna to wanna to be, if your kitchen, your sink is over here, you wanna be working like this, sideways into your sink, not over your joystick, and you don't wanna get this wet. So you're gonna be pulling with the side where the joystick is off, sideways. You don't wanna be pulling forward because you'll be leaning too much, okay? That's the best way to work out of these chairs. Let's look at the base on this chair. It's a mid-wheel drive. That means your drive wheel's gonna be in the middle. Of course, it looks like it's not in the middle, but. Technically, this is a mid-wheel drive. The drive wheel is between two wheels. This front wheel is on the ground. This front wheel is on the ground. These are, these are suspension wheel, you can see. You can see the seat lift. This is the newest style. This is a really quick seat lift. It goes up in, in a few seconds. You're all the way up to the top. And this is one of the few chairs you can still drive at three, four miles an hour with the seat elevated, okay? So, let's bring the seat back down. And we're going to talk about the seat. And the seat is down. We're going to turn the seat off. This is a captain seat, okay? So that means you can fold the seat all the way down like this. If you transport this chair in the back of your van, uh, you, this is about 31 inches here, okay? The seat on this chair is roughly 19 by 19. We're not changing the seat on this chair. Everything's staying with the way it is. So if you're buying this chair, you're gonna be getting it with this seat. I'm not putting a small, I'm just keeping everything that goes with this chair on this chair. This is your foot plate. When you exit the foot, when you exit the chair, you can raise the foot plate up. Another thing about this chair right here, you might see it, there's two yellow levers. Well, let me, let me do this so you can see it. I'm gonna raise the seat up so you can see it. You see these two yellow levers? Those are your neutral levers. So if I want to push this chair around, let's just say you have an issue, you run out of gas. You want to push it around, okay? Put it in, turn the power off, down, down, and now you see how I can push it? You're in neutral, okay? And the reason you want to turn the power off, you don't want uh, any resistance in the motor. When you're done rolling it, up, up, power back on, foot plate back down. We're going to bring the seat back down. I think we're all the way down. Put the power back on. Let me show you the nice turning radius on this chair. So if you're in your house, that's what you're looking at to go in a circle. You see how I'm only this far away from the wall? Of course, you know, you don't want to be that close like I am, but I just want to show you how close it'll go without hitting the wall. The back of the chair, you've got a pouch to keep your manual. You've got these, uh, these, factory seat tag that I hate. I, I'm going to cut them off because I don't like them. And right here you have a docking device. So if you want to put a basket, oxygen holder, cane holder, whatever you want to put, there's a little trailer hitch here available for your chair. Okay. The seat on this chair, as I said, is, is 18 inches. So the total width right here from here to here is about 24 inches. From here to here is 24 inches. Also, if you look at this, you have headlights, and you have tail lights. So you can see the tail lights here. 
and you have headlights. So if you have it in the house, it'll light up your uh, it'll light up your hallway. Okay. When you charge the batteries in this chair, you'll take the charger that comes with the chair. I'll use this one for example. You plug it right here. And as soon as the light goes from orange to green, the charger will stop charging. These are smart chargers. They're not going to overcharge your chair. So, let's do a review on this chair. This is a Jazzy Air 2 power chair. It has two new motors, two new batteries, two new motors, two new batteries, new tires. It's been just about completely redone. The seat, everything else is fine. It's got the lights. It's got the swing away joystick, which we didn't talk about earlier. The swing away joystick helps you get closer to a dining table. If you're left-handed, we can put it on the left side. It has the 19 by 19 seat. It's about 24 inches wide. Safety belt, high back headrest, mid-wheel drive, headlights and taillights, and it's ready to go. So this is a Jazzy Air 2, very smooth, not a very fast power chair. I think the top speed on it is four and a half miles an hour, but it is very easy to drive. It's, it doesn't respond very fast. So if you have a person that keeps going like this, this chair is not going to wobble. It's very easy to drive. If I put it on speed number one, there's five speed. This is speed one. I don't think you get in much trouble at that speed. I'm gonna put it back to speed five because I'm a speed demon. And it takes a while, then it gets going to about four miles an hour, which is normal for this type of chair. As I said, it's very smooth, very easy to drive. This has been one of the most popular chair because of the 12 inch seat lift. It should go in the grass with no problem. As you can see, it has no problem in the grass, but remember, my grass has a good bottom, so if, you're, if your yard is mushy, sandy, or whatever, uh, you want to have a hard bottom in your grass. Uh, it doesn't matter if the grass is this tall, as long as the bottom is hard, it'll go right through. So I'm going to raise the seat up again, so as you can see, if, you, if you're going to drive this chair with the seat elevated, uh, please, perfect surfaces, okay? Let's see it, now I'm going to put it back to drive, and we'll see how fast it goes with the seat elevated. It goes full speed, so it does, whatever speed it was going before with the seat down, it goes the same speed with the seat elevated, about four, four and a half miles an hour. There's very, very few chairs out there that will go that speed with the seat elevated 12 inches. So you, if you're driving this chair with the seat elevated, you'll be eye level with someone. So if you, someone's walking next to you, you'll be eye level with them. The nice thing about this, if you go in your house and you do the dishes, you can just do right next to the sink and right here and do your dishes. You can grab stuff. Well, I'm pretty tall, but let's just say the second cabinet at least uh, off your chair, off your your cabinet. Uh, that's what's nice. And if you watch our video, right below the video of the chair, there's another video one of my clients using this chair. Well, not this one, but similar to this one in her kitchen, all over her kitchen. That'll give you a good example what you can do. So if you're looking for a nice chair, as I said, this one's got two new motors, two new batteries, new tires. Everything else is fine. Uh, literally been redone. This is be a nice one. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We're co-owners of Mark's Mobility. I started this company in 1995. We sell many products, not just what you see in this video. If you have any questions or concerns, please call us at the number below at 800-677-6293. Thank you and have a wonderful day.